The Harp. Sam felt like he and his dog Captain Crunch had been walking for days in the dense forest. The thick branches and leaves blocked out the sky above, making it difficult to tell the time of day. He had never gone this far from his little village, and now he feared that he might be lost. But he couldn't turn back now. Sam knew there was only one hope of saving his little brother from the sickness that had taken hold, and that hope was the magical harp that was rumored to be deep within the forest. It was said that those who found and played the harp were granted one wish. Captain Crunch barked, causing Sam to trip over the root of a tree and barely catch himself. When he regained his balance and looked up, he was amazed by what he saw. A harp playing a beautiful song by itself in the middle of a clearing. So it's true, he thought. It's really true. The clearing itself felt magical. Rays of light shone down from in between branches, causing the river to sparkle. Sam was so enthralled by his surroundings that he didn't notice when the harp music stopped. Who dares enter my forest? The powerful voice echoed around the trees. Sam couldn't see where it was coming from. Captain Crunch let out a low growl. Please, Sam stammered. I'm here for my brother. He's very sick. I just need the wish and then I'll leave, I swear. The air before him seemed to ripple, then smoke, then bang. A tall old wizard now stood where there was once empty space, wearing dark blue robes and carrying a long wooden staff. So, you wish to play the harp and cure your brother of his illness? Yes, Sam said, standing a little taller, determined to be brave. How about a trade? The wizard smiled a crooked smile. I am in need of an adventurer, and you are the perfect size. I lost my favorite hat while creating a portal, and the portal is uh, too small for me to fit through. You may play the harp if you agree to retrieve my hat. Sam was a little baffled. This wasn't what he was expecting. But if all he had to do to ensure his brother's safety was find a hat... Deal. Captain Crunch whined. It's okay, boy, Sam said, scratching his dog behind the ear. The wizard led Sam to the harp, conjured a chair out of thin air, and motioned for him to sit down. Think hard about what you want. Pluck the strings when you are ready. Sam thought of his little brother. He pictured him healthy and happy, running around the village and playing with his friends. Sam raised his hands and plucked the strings. Beams of light came pouring out of the harp, racing through the forest in the direction of the village and quickly disappearing from sight. Sam muttered a small, thank you, under his breath. And now you finish your end of the bargain. The wizard waved his hand to reveal a small portal at the base of a nearby tree, too big for a man to fit through, but just big enough for a boy. It swirled gently with purple and blue energy and shimmered ever so slightly. Sam was too curious not to ask. Where does the portal lead? The wizard sighed. I've been trying for years to get to this place called New York. They have this delicious flatbread called pizza that I simply must try. But alas, all of my portals have either been too small or led to the wrong location. This answer only left Sam with more questions. Why don't you just get a new hat? The hat boosts my magical powers. You ask too many questions. The wizard tapped his foot impatiently. Can Captain Crunch stay here with you while I'm gone? The wizard grumbled. You're lucky I'm a dog person. Sam took a deep breath and approached the portal. Before he could change his mind, he jumped. The world he found himself in was unlike anything he had ever seen.